extra damage. And we got lethal next turn no matter what, so hopefully we can just get a lot of block. Hopefully we get a card that puts Rocco back up front. Yeah, so we'll just kill him here. I mean, he was going to die from the Cobalt Dark Oil anyway. This, Noble Ink. Okay, revealing a straight line. I think that's exactly what I was hoping for. There we go. So then we can pop this. Whoa! So much gold. Another healing pot, which I may as well use now, actually. I'll use one. There you go. That tickles. Okay. Do we draft and then go to the shop? No, let's go to the shop first, because I think with 160, we can buy some of these trinkets. So, prayer beads. Whenever you end your turn with no cards on hand, gain a courage. We do have a lot of energy generation, which is what this courage is, so maybe. Whenever the equipped hero plays a card that costs two or more, gained four block. We do have a few that cost four or more. Whenever this hero plays an ally, gain plus one power. So I presume they have to equip it on a specific hero and make sure they're, what, in the lead when I play the ally? Or it's um, an ally that's coded, color-coded them. Yeah, the Windstorm Charger is an ally that's specifically Shara's. And we could even consider picking up the Horse Master and Battle Brother. These are all allies for Shara. And Bullfrog Berserker cost five? It does double its spirit every turn, though. And then Gem of Growth, yeah, is an ally gains one spirit. Reap. Oh, if this kills an enemy, it gives us 25 gold. Play this, return it to the top of your deck at the end of your turn. I mean, there's probably some sick phase stone things. I don't think we've got it. The spirit is the, the power of these ally cards, that number in the bottom right corner over here. Add Shara's power to this ally spirit. Charge 12 this hero to the front. Presumably, when I play Battle Brother, it moves Shara to the front, is probably what that is. Which actually is pretty convenient here, because when Shara's in the front, she has power. Battle Brother actually will do a lot of damage. Because she gets an extra 3 power in the front, so this is going to be a 7 power spirit at a minimum. Hitting every turn. And the Horse Master hits for three, and we can activate it, which costs a spirit, but lets us swap our characters. Oh my god! Like, there's... We haven't unlocked anything in this game, and there's already a lot of really interesting interactions. Bullfrog... Yeah, the problem is, ca like, playing the Bullfrog is going to be tricky. We don't, we're not currently set up in a way that we end up with five power at any point. Or not power, but um, uh, gold mana? Yeah, it does seem more complicated than the last time we played it. Yeah, there were no allies, I don't think, when we played the demo. I'm tempted to just grab the Battle Brother. Because, I mean, first of all, the, Ber the Berserker is going to have to, um, he's going to have to double twice before it equals the damage of the Battle Brother. Because the Battle Brother is going to be seven. So this is going to deal 1, then 4, then 8, and then more and more and more, but, um, yeah, I think we just grab the Battle Brother for now. I think I like it as an addition. Okay, I mean, that's all our gold, but I don't think that's a bad pick. Okay, let's swing back over here. There's a fight there. We don't have enough money for this, but we'll probably get it after the fight. I could also... No, let's do this. Hopefully we'll get another, like, straight line pot or something and be able to access some stuff over here. Oh, I keep meaning to move Soraka to the front. Or did I already? Yes, I did. Good. Okay. I've, I, these guys are all pretty low health, which is going to work nice if I can get my freaking ally over here that um, that deals AoE damage we can get. Um, this guy in the back is stealth. He can't be targeted. I think he can be AoE. Um, the thing is, he's going to uh, recruit a bunch of reinforcements. What's annoying here, like this would have been a perfect fight for us to start with our area of effect ability, but we didn't get it. Um... I think what's going to happen here is I will lunge 
because it'll do really good damage. And I guess I'm going to have to, like, strike this guy. Well, he's, he's going to die regardless. Um, so, actually, so we're lunge the front guy. Ah, uh, strike this what? It's only 12, so that's one short. So I have to lunge the guy in the front. I'll strike the second place guy. And then I'll defend to put Sirocco back up front. Sirocco's going to take a fair amount of damage. No, uh, whenever you purchase a card, they just get added to your deck. This guy's going to die from the Cobalt Gargoyle, and this lets us do our damage slightly more efficiently. The thing is, this guy's going to be summoning um, extra reinforcements of these dudes. Eventually, he runs out. Welcome to the party! I could just guard Mountain Fist. This will give a 16 block. We'll do 16 damage, so we'll kill this guy off. And then this guy's going to take 5, which he won't quite be dead. But we clearly need a frack ton of block, although this one is vulnerable. He's taking more damage. But I think that's the way it's going to have to be. Oh, where's our AoE ally? We could have we could have ended the fight by now, because this guy in the back could be dead at this point. We're going to take so much more, just luck of the draw. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit late there, Windstorm Charger. I think it's still worth playing, though. So we play that. We don't have a block. Nor do we have a tremendous amount of positional change. Oh, we have we have block from Bravery. Okay, so that's that's gonna we're gonna have to use that. I'm gonna do this. I definitely want a bravery because it's our only block. Does kill that him. And see like Wait, why did it hit twice? Oh I forgot the cannon hits everyone! I keep thinking the cannon hits just the guy in the front. Excellent. So, I mean, whether I strike or battle brother, I believe we do, do exactly the same damage. I wonder if the battle brother's power or spirit changes. I wonder if this is locked in when we play this. I don't think we're going to be able to see. Because it's seven right now, right? I wonder if Sharamu is back. Does he lose the three points from her power? Now, hopefully I have an opportunity to swap them around here. No, of course I don't. Because I say, it would be great as a test to put Sorakwa to the front and see if this goes down or not. Oh, wait, okay. That... It would have been a lot better if we could have uh, gotten uh, got things going soon. I gotta remember the cannon hits everyone. That's so much better than I thought. Okay, three tiles in a straight line is very handy. I think. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're ink this way. Okay. There might have been a blocker, which is good. We still have the precision ink to help out with that. Um, I'm not gonna use a healing potion right now. Wouldn't be a bad place to do that. Although, if we can get another straight line ink to get to this guy tower, that would be really good. Could have had lethal sooner. Mm -hmm. What the heck is this? An Azure Wisp. He's going to block and buff. Get this guy debuffing the damage on the front again. Okay, we don't have a ranged attack. I do want to get... So I think I win Storm Charger, then Battle Brothers. Um, it does mean... If I do that, Shara's going to take the 18. Which I don't like the idea of. What I could do is I could... 
I could still battle brother, and then I could mountain fist after. Which would mean Soraka would go back to the front, he'd have 8 block, which would actually be 10 for him because of his fortifying brew. And then he would deal 8 damage, and then at least the battle brother would be out. Oh, I forgot about her ability! Son of a... thank you. So that would mean not playing, because what I could do is I could Charger, Brother, Shimmer Strike just to do extra damage, and then use her ability to swap backwards so that he'd take the, the hits. We wouldn't have any block, though. Yeah, I agree. We would like to kill the Wisp first, so any targeted damage should go there. Mountain Fist will attack the one in the front. Um, the Gargoyle and the Battle Brother will just attack the one in the front. We'll do a little splash with this, and then we do a ranged attack and Mecha Cannon as well. Yeah, yeah okay, here's the thing. We're not, I'm not 100% sure. If the power is locked in, like, when the, we cast the Spirit, then you're right. We should Simmer Strike first, then play the Battle Brother. And then, well, I guess I, I Windstorm Charger first. Windstorm, Shimmer, Battle Brother, and then use her ability to swap us back. That's probably our best play. So he's going to play for nine. And I guess we're going to find out right away if the nine stays. It does stay. Okay. So it does. No, it didn't. Does not. Never mind. It changes. His ability is now a six, because it's his four plus the two that's left. We no longer have the power from being in the front. And actually, that power is going to go away at the end of the turn, so I'm not sure when the ally attack timing is going to be. Okay, he is attacking for six, and then it goes down to four. Okay, so it doesn't matter what our power is when we cast the battle, brother. Okay, we've got a few swaps available here. We've got lots of blocks as well. Well, this guy's gonna die. Oh, prevent the first instant damages would take. So I'd like to pop this with the swap. So I think I just defend strike strike. We defend just to pop this and deal two free damage. And then we just use these two strikes to hit over here. And the nice thing is, um, Shara can end her turn in the front. Like, we'll be doing her strike from the front when she's got maximum power. We can leave her in the front for the Battle Brother to do maximum damage as well. Yeah. Oh. And I have to, yeah, I have to strike again here to finish that off. And we've got seven damage. That's looking good. Buffing. Uh, bravery you'd like to do from the back for a couple of reasons. It'd be cheaper and it procs our mecha uh, bracer. I can't use her ability again because I've already used alacrity. So, I mean, I could defend bravery lunge. She would still be in the front. She would definitely take some damage. We would have um, just the 13. I don't think we've got anything else. We'd have 13 blocking and 18 damage. She'd take 5 damage, which I guess is fine. Bravery's only going to cost 1 when in the back. Uh, lucky dead set. Because it's ranged. Which I'm gonna mess up all the time. There's like so many things to consider. I mean, we should have lethal here. I don't see any opportunity otherwise. I don't think there's anything we do that gives us any longer term benefits. So kill here. Yeah, we can use the healing potion right now, which would be very nice. We get that and noble ink in a straight line. Let me use a heal pot. Uh, feels good, man. 
tank this way. Sky Tower. Do we want to draft random cards, or do we want to go back to the shop? I think we can draft random cards. Hey, the Maddie. Like random, right? Achievement unlocked. Vault discovery. Okay, kickflip's gonna be really good for us. So this is gonna give us a way to move Shara to the back. Which A, we often want her to be in the back. B, a lot of her cards benefit from the back. Like we want her in the back to not take damage. A lot of her cards benefit from the back, and it'll trigger our ally some more. Um although well, Thousand Cut can do two cool things. It's pretty expensive, but it does scale nicely with power. Um Perry is free, which is never bad. Oh, you can skip to get your gold back, right? You don't actually pay it until you grab the card. That is good to know. But yeah, I like the idea of the kick. Fire oil. Give a hero three power dissolve, so it, it does. It's only usable once per per battle, um, but that's pretty handy. And we've got, you know, obviously, I mean, power is always going to be good. We get a little bit of double dipping because of the ally. Rock out. Add headbang to your hand. This is a Canadian headbanging moose. Um, gain block equal to twice the number of headbangs in your hand. Combo stacks. So the combo I know is if the last card played this turn belonged to the other hero, it costs one less. So if we play a Shara card and then we play headbang, headbang will be free. Stacks. Can stack multiple copies of itself in your hand. Don't discard the stack at the end of your turn. Okay, so we hold on to a bunch of headbangs. And I think it maybe doesn't contribute the same way to your hand limit. Although once we use it, it gets dissolved. So we can cast Rock Out over and over. Every time we cast Rock Out, we get a Headbang, then gain some blocks. So the first time we cast it, we'll get one block. If we don't play Headbang, the second time we cast Rock Out, we'll get two blocks, then three, then four. And then at some point, we can just dump all the Headbangs, because Shara can do a move. We can play all the Headbangs for free. Give Sirocco a ton of power for a kill. Or you get double, double block. You're right. We'll get two, then four, then six, then eight blocks. Interesting. There's also Riposte over here. Gain someone block during the enemy's next turn. Oh yeah, we just saw this. Each time an attack is fully blocked, add a dagger to your hand. Which is free stacks, attacks for two. Yes, yeah, so the first use is zero for two block, which is fine i mean it takes up a card like in turn like cost you can't beat the cost of free for anything right uh but two block is a card rock out's interesting we gotta we gotta rock out right let's i mean just it just sounds like fun i don't know if we truly got the synergy for it um i know that there's a there's a good card for sirocco that um deals a ton of damage to one dude and then half as much to i think each dude adjacent or maybe every other dude so something like that with a power bonus would actually be quite beneficial i think i'll just do this battle so many of the dudes cards are expensive like getting a cheap one yeah you make you play rogue book i didn't realize that okay so we know it doesn't matter what our power is when we cast battle run so, the order for this, in a sense, doesn't matter. Why are you sleeping? Skipping its turn. Okay, probably power up. You got stealth, we can't attack you. Uh, unless we're low, and although you can be splashed and eventually. We really do need some AoE. This guy is probably going to be our prime target to kill. He doesn't have that many hit points. I mean, obviously we want to get Battle Brother down. Regardless. Probably it's something like Battle Brother lunge, and then we use um, we use guard to throw Sirocco back up front because then it'll have ten block. A Battle Brother won't hit for very much because Shara won't be up front, but it'll minimize the damage we take. I think it's got to be the way it's got to be. He's taking a lot of damage from our allies, but I think targeting him makes a lot of sense. Although this block is really annoying. The fact that he just blocks everyone all the time. 
Okay, this is going to be quite good, because we can Windstorm Charger, then we can Bravery, which will deal 7 damage to everyone because of our gauntlets, because the gauntlets hit everyone, Quill, remember that. And that includes the stealth of this guy, which is nice. Um, we, we are going to be down to just one energy this turn. Next turn, we'll have more because of Courage. But I guess we Windstorm, we Bravery, we use her ability to send her back. Okay, I Windstorm, Bravery, um, Defend, then I use her ability to send her back. So they'll still be, um, they'll be 13, oh shit, we're only being attacked for 6 this turn? I don't even have to use her ability. Especially with Bravery doing this. We can just throw in a random strike from Sirocco, it's gonna be fine. Chocolate. Yeah, so I don't have to cast Defend. We're not going to take any damage. Fortunately, he won't die. But this brings him to the range where he'll die from whatever... Like, any positional change we do will kill this guy. So I'm going to do that. Throw Sirocco to the front. Kind of some interesting imagery. He needs a fastball special card. Something something, never toss a dwarf. All right, we got rock out, which moves him to the front. We've also got kick bat, kick flip. So I mean, either way, we're gonna do some movements here. Is her defend? Oh, first card play costs one more. It doesn't really matter. No matter what, obviously, no matter what, we're gonna be playing some of Shara's cards. So no matter what, we're going to be spending two on that. We do have four power, though. And then after that, they're going to go once. We can kick flip, probably strike, strike, rock out. Yeah, that sounds fine. And uh, do I still have her ability? I think I still have her ability as well. So I can't target him. Because he's stealth. I could target him, but he's still full. Although he is dealing a frack ton of damage. I don't think I can kill him this turn, though. I think I just finish off the defender so that he stops doing his block spam. Well, I guess this guy's not going to die with all his blocks. We will have to throw one strike at him to make sure he dies. All right. Now, if I do one more positional change, this guy will just die accidentally. To the front. Okay, I can I could defend, which will move her back to the front. Rock out, which will move him back to the front, which will guarantee this guy dies, which is good. It'll keep Sirocco in the front, which is better for block. And I'll still have enough energy for an extra random strike, which I should do while Shara's in the front for maximum damage. We're gonna do two positional swaps, so this guy will die as well, right? Yeah, these two will both die. I still can't target him, so I guess we'll strike the guy in the back. Okay, so defend. Shara strikes this guy. I would love to hit him, but I can't. And then we're going to rock out. Excellent. Oh, there's a lot of math going on. Never math on camera, you guys. It's really bad. And we got a headbang. Okay, in turn. We do get to do free damage to this guy. Now that he's in the front, he is being hit, even though I can't target him, which is actually kind of nice. I want another rock out so we can see how the headbangs actually stack and how that looks. Uh, okay, let me check the whiskey and chocolate over here. First of all, uh, there was Bad Joke Bot. Thank you very much, Bad Joke Bot. Quill, a burglar stole all my lamps. I should be upset, but I'm delighted. Reminds me of that joke, um, uh, robbers broke into the police station and stole all their toilets. The, the police have nothing to go on. Ranger, thank you as well. In Greek mythology, Chiron was not only half man and half horde, but also a doctor of medicine. That made him the centaur for disease control. <laughs> or half horse. Half man, half horse. It was a typo, okay. Uh, but also the doctor of medicine made him the centaur for disease control. That is accurate and funny. That's pretty good. All right, what can we do here? Now, this guy might 
just die. Okay, he will. As long as there's one position swap, he's going to die regardless. Even if we don't have Shara with extra power, he's going to take a minimum of nine from these two. And as long as we swap one time, he'll take the two. He's dead. Is there any way we can kill this guy? We could dump our headbangs. Because we'll be able to even cast it for free. So I propose we Shimmer Strike...